So guys, today what I want to kind of touch on a little bit is if you saw my video of the closest crash I ever had, if not, you can check it out here. Um, I did a lot of explaining in that video as far as what had happened and my feeling, you know, immediately after. But now that some time has passed, I think it's been almost, almost a month since that happened. Um, I've had time to reflect even more as well as hubby. Now, on that day, something I didn't explain to you guys was I was not alone. I was riding with hubby who was riding behind me. So he got to see the whole thing. Um, but a, a factor that I had left out of my analysis on the video was it was a cold day. Um, the road temperature was cold. It was, it was like January 23rd or something like that. So cold road temperatures and cold out. One of the factors that I did not talk about in that video was the tires, the temperature of my tires. Now we had been riding, oh, for about, I don't know, maybe a half an hour up until that point. So my tires had gotten, you know, warmed up pretty good from riding. And that was a huge factor because if my tires were still cold, if it, this had happened closer, you know, to home, um, it might have been a different outcome because my tires would have been cold. There wouldn't have been, you know, the traction or anything. And, and that could have ended up in a crash. So I wanted to, to you know, let you guys know that tire temperature is extremely important as well as road temperature. And again, as I said in that video, one of the biggest factors was luck. It was just pure luck. Yes, I did everything I was supposed to do and stuff, but it all comes down to luck. And and you never you never quite know, you know, if it's going to work out right. But I wanted to just, you know, touch on that a little bit and a little bit of analysis, more analysis after having more time to, to think about it. And, you know, it's it was scary. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I mean, yeah, my training kicked in. I've practiced emergency braking and, and, you know, evasive maneuvers. But, you know, it was scary and it would scare a lot of people into not riding again an experience like that and in, you know not riding for a month that was not due to that incident it was actually due to I was sick lost my voice and you know didn't feel good but you know I got back up on the bike um, have I been down that road since no um, I could have went down it today I didn't only because it is a high traffic road and I just didn't feel like dealing with the high traffic and there's a lot of tractors and trailers on that road and today I didn't feel like being blown apart on a you know kind of chilly day but will I go back down that road yes I will am I afraid to go down that road no I'm not you know one of hubby's biggest things that he always says to me is you know you gotta bite the bullet that bit you and I will do it, you know, just not today. I might do it tomorrow. I might do it next week. And that's the thing, you, you gotta, you know, go after it and say, you know what, it happened. I'm not afraid. I'll go back down that road. You know, yeah, I probably should have done it today. But again, like I said, it's a very high traffic road I didn't feel like dealing with. So, I mean, when these things happen, yeah, it's scary. And, you know, a lot of people, might say I'm done that was too close of a call you know I could have wiped out I could have died I could have got injured I could have could have could have well yeah we all could have every day there's a could have you drive a car doesn't mean it's any safer could have had a crash the guy could have turned in front of you guy could have head on you there's always going to be could have in life and the thing that you got to remember is you know you got to go on life goes on yeah, a motorcycle is a little bit more dangerous than riding in a car, but life is full of could this happen, this could have happened, that could have happened. 
So if you run into an experience that kind of shakes you a little bit on your motorcycle, get back on it, try it, take it slow, you know, and then bite that dog that bit you. So, all right guys, I just wanted to have a short video. I was out here riding on the bike. Have a little bit more of analysis of what had happened now that can, I've had can some I, time. Can I, can I add something? Sure. It's, uh, if you have a close call incident, deer, you know, I mean, somebody pulling out in front of you and all, it is scary. And, you know, you, you reach a point where you say, ask yourself, you know, is motorcycling really for me? And you know what? That's a valid question. But give yourself maybe three, four, five more rides. Now, your first ride or two, you may be haunted by that incident. You may be scared to death every time you see a car coming at you or whatever. That is normal. But after about five, six rides where you're still saying, you know what, uh, this, I, I, I'm, I'm scared to death now every time I get on a bike. Hey, leave it go for a while. Think about it. Maybe motorcycling isn't for you. I just thought I'd throw that in. No, and, and that's a good point. I mean, it's just, you know, it's it's a passion. But, like, again, I just wanted to, I wanted just to, you know, while I'm out here riding with hubby, as normal, um, just, you know, give you guys a little bit of analysis now that I've had time to think about it, uh, you know, what had happened. And, yeah, so, anyway, guys, check out that video and, uh, you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what, you know, how you felt after something like that has happened or if you had a crash did you get back on your bike you know because it's all helping each other when we talk about these things so all right guys until next time remember ride safe see ya bye now yeah so not a bad day to be out on the bike all right let's go oh shit never mind i stalled <laughs> Please learn how to ride the bike. I don't know how to ride the bike. Oh, no, Father. Where is all this traffic coming from? Well, if you hadn't stalled it, we'd have already been out there. Okay, well, I did. Mm -hmm. It happens. To the best.